Hello and welcome to the Pads Screen Personalizer app walkthrough. We also, uh, this app is also, um, has a nickname named Splash. Um, notice that it does support Remarkable Paper Pro, Remarkable 1, and Remarkable 2. It runs on Apple and Windows computers. And we are so um, excited to let you know about this app. Um, it's been around for a very long time, actually since uh, around 2017. So this is version one, version 1.31. We're always updating this this app. Um, the 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 main uses of this, of this app is if you have a remarkable tablet, like I said, all the ones that we support, pretty much all the we support every remarkable version uh, tablet version. Um, if you want to personalize the default factory screens on your tablet. Let's just say you are um, somewhere and uh, maybe you're at school or at college and you have your tablet and um, you walk away with all your, your books on the table and you, oh, I left my, my tablet. You're across tamp- campus and you got to run back. Well, this allows you to actually maybe you want to add your um, contact information on the, the, the standby screen so somebody can actually go back in and say, oh, I found this tablet. I, you can see your phone number and, and see who, see your information, and they can actually call you up and say, I found your tablet. Here it is, buddy. Anyway, um, also, if you want to personalize, you want to brand your tablet, you want to put your logo or anything, pretty much, your, your favorite um, dog, you know, your pet, you know, you want to have a photo of your pet on the front, you can do that with the um, screen personalizer. Okay, so I'm going to get back in here. Um, notice you're presented with three fields. First field, you notice there's an IP address in here, and it's 10.11.99.1. That IP address is always going to be the same if you have a stable USB connection connected to your computer. Now, um, if you are connecting, um, if you want to connect to your your this app to your computer, make sure you're either using the the cable that your Remarkable came with. Or if you're using on a Mac, maybe you don't have a um, you know a, an older USB, right? Maybe you don't have a USB-C, uh, and you're trying to use the power cable on your laptop. That's not going to work um, right off the bat. You need to have a cable that actually supports data throughput. Okay, you can find plenty of. You can go to Best Buy. You can go to any hardware store or a, you know electronic store and talk to the guy up front or the lady up front and say, Hey, I need a USB-C to USB-C cable. Okay, you know, they're, they're the smaller ones um, and you can actually connect. Just make sure you, you ask them again that it, it, it needs to support data throughput. The faster cable you get, the faster response you're going to get with any of our apps. Where any, you know, if you're connecting with a different app, you still need that USB-C cable. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get, go right in. Um, your password is actually found on your tablet. Under, um, if you're using an older, uh, one of the older tablets, uh, not the Remarkable Paper Pro, you can go under um, your settings, help, about, copyrights, copyright and licensing, and then it'll be on in a body of text on the right um, between single quotes, um, right above all of your IP addresses that are listed on, um, that you can actually connect with. Okay, so... Um, all of our apps also support Wi-Fi connection. You don't have to use this 10.11.99.1. If you have two listed, the other one is going to be, it's going to be about the same length. Um, but you could actually put that Wi-Fi connection in and you don't have to connect with the USB cable. You can connect over your Wi-Fi connection. So I'm actually using, going to connect directly to, um, using USB. So let's use the 10.11.99.1. And my password is the one that I said uh, how to find it on your tablet. And we do have other videos on our website. If you have problems finding your password, we have a walkthrough video. Just go on our website, eingpads.com, go to um, help, and then you'll see the walkthrough video section. You just go there. We have several um, walkthrough videos if you get stuck using any of our apps. So I'm going to go ahead and connect here. Um, so give it a minute. Uh, it's a little bit slower over USB, but notice that you're presented with a list of all the screens on your tablet. These are the ones that you can change, okay? So if I go in here and I click edit, um, this is the one that 
I, you know, it shows a preview of what of the screen that's currently on your tablet that you want to replace. Okay, so if I hit upload, I want to replace the overheating PNG one. I can click that, and then it's, it's going to actually go through the folders on my computer, and I find a PNG. It always has to be a PNG. It can't be a PDF. It always has to be a PNG image, and it has to be the same size that size that is prescribed, the same size, the exact same size of the screen that you're replacing it. Now, another thing you should note, okay, you see how it's named overheating.png? In order to change this, you would design a screen, and you have to name that file exactly like this, same file extension. Um, also, when you create screens, it, you can't have any transparency in the image. It has to have a white background, um, and usually if you use 72 DPI, um, resolution on if you're using it on an older uh, remarkable tablet you're good to go if the newer ones you know support higher resolutions um, 150 uh, 200 or whatever if you do those and as long as you keep the same file di size dimensions you can uh, you can swap out and you won't have any problems uh, with the uh, screens here so I'm gonna hit done here the the ones that are most used um, are the power off this screen is when your tablet is turned off. Okay, it's just sitting on the table. That's the screen you want to actually change. Um, like I said, if you leave it and you power it off uh, and someone finds it or it runs out and this, this screen will show up. So you can put your, your name here, your phone number and your email address. Um, if you find me, return it here. Or you can put your logo here. Um, the sky's the limit, okay? So <clears throat> the starting screen, this is the screen that shows up when it's loading, okay? When your tablet is loading. You notice paper tablet is loading. So we, we wanted to actually have the preview of the screen that you want to change because you have to know the ones that you, you know, the, the state of the tablet, okay, that you want the image to show up under, okay. So feel free to go in here and find the ones that, that you want to change, you know, based on the action or the state of your tablet, okay. That's the best way to do it. Starting, okay, you can go here. This is what shows up when you're loading. Um, <clears throat> rebooting. That's when it's restarting. Now, you probably, the screens that you're probably going to want to change the most are probably suspended, starting, um, power off. That's the most common one. All the other ones you probably won't even change. These, these icons, is, say you made a mistake and you want to get it back to what it was prior, you click this and it will restore the screen back to where, where it was previously, previously before you made the change. So you, it's a redo button. Um, the deletes don't work, okay? So these, we don't allow you to create ones in here. If you, you've added one in here that, that does, um, um, in the future, it doesn't, it doesn't map to the ones you have existed. You could hit delete, but you see that restricted. We just want to make sure that you cannot delete the ones that are actually factory to your tablet. Um, <clears throat> like you said, like I said, we're always updating the, the screens here and you may see something that, okay, why is this here now? That's because we've actually updated the, the functionality because Remarkable is always changing their firmware and we're always kind of adapting to what is available on the latest version of, of your Remarkable tablet. Okay. So <clears throat> let's just say I wanted to change the suspend, suspended. Okay. Go here. And I click upload, and it's going to go to um, the ones that are, see how we're in, um, I'm going to show you this, we're in the e-pads backup screens folder. We actually, when you, when you create changes, we actually will, will save all of the ones that were previously in here. See this? We're, we're creating a backup from you from the fly so that you can always get back to the original ones if you make a mistake. Um, this folder is the ones that you've added. You see I've added a bunch in here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to I'm not going to do this cuz I don't want to change my my screens. I'm keeping them keeping them the way they are. Um, so if you want to upload it, you would just click it and find the PNG file and then click open and then it would actually show the preview of the screen that you just added here, okay? Nothing's going to show up though until you restart power off your tablet by holding down the power button and turning it back on. If you do those things, you'll, you'll notice you can see your beautiful new screen and you're good to go. Um, thank you so much for using our apps. If you have any connect, if you, any questions at all, uh, feel free to reach out to us at support at einkpads.com. We're available during the week, during the weekends, 
most likely 24 7 if you if you go to our website and there's a chat button on the lower right corner you can ask a question and just be patient maybe we're in you know there's other people in the queue uh, but eventually we will get get back to you and if we don't get back to you soon we'll also respond through the chat window it'll send you an email with our response uh, we're we're not the we're not um fortune 500 company we're very small so please be patient as we work with you uh, we're in the community um, and we are remarkable users just like you so we we um, listen to you guys we want to grow with you we also are dedicated to enhancing your tablet okay so the functionality of your tablet will be we're releasing new products all the time and sometimes you know we may release something that's not perfect but that's because we are uh, um, growing. No software company releases stuff that's perfect, okay? That's why there's always firmware updates. Remarkable also finds bugs all the time. So please be patient with us as we're working. Just communicate. Nine times out of 10, you might even get me because I, I actually um, respond to most of the support calls that come in and the chat because I like to, to hear what you guys have to say. And I don't want to be sitting in meetings and my people, my employees are actually talking to me and saying, oh, OK, this is a problem. I'd actually like to, to hear your pain points uh, up front. So you most likely will get me um, at least um, responding to you or seeing your message. We, I see everything. So um, sometimes I may miss a few things. And like I said, be, be patient. Um, we're working around the clock. We really are on your side. Um, we're not about money. We're actually about, um, you know, making sure that we're producing products that enhance your life. OK, thank you so much again. Have a blessed day and I hope you have an amazing week.